Hello and welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. Today I will be walking you through the steps to engrave on a cylindrical surface. This method can be used for engraving text or any two-dimensional geometry we wish to wrap around a cylindrical surface. In this video we will be engraving around the outside and inside of the part. The Esprit logo will be imported as a DXF and will be used on the OD. The ID engraving geometry will be created inside of Esprit. To stay organized, we will create a new layer. I press F11 to bring up the layers dialog box. We will call this layer Esprit logo. I will import my geometry by going to File, Open, and I need to make sure that the merge is checked. Now that the geometry has been imported, we need to check the orientation. I can see the logo needs to be rotated by 90 degrees. We can do this by selecting our geometry, by right clicking in my workspace, choosing copy, then set my transformation type to rotate. I will move instead of copy because I don't want any duplicates. Then I will set my angle between desired copies to 90 degrees. I'm going to leave use origin rotation axis checked. Okay, now we're ready to create the geometry for the ID engraving. We'll go to create engraving. Under create, we'll select segment. We must also select mirror for mold work since this is on the ID. We now need to select the position to place our engraving. The X coordinate corresponds to the position along the diameter while the Y position corresponds to the position around the diameter. I use this formula to calculate the Y position that gives me the desired C angle when applying the engraving operation. This information can be accessed through the help menu or by pressing the F1 key. The next step is selecting the proper work plane and then our ID and OD geometry. Create edit features, auto chain. With the OD feature selected, it's time to create our toolpath. Solid mill turn, wrap contouring. Okay, let's make the necessary changes to our wrap contouring toolpath. On the general tab, change our operation name to OD wrap engraving. Next, we can select our engraving tool. On the wrap tab, we need to change three things. Wrap feature set to no. This is because our feature is planar. If the feature was 3D and already wrapped on the 3D face we're engraving, then it would be set to yes. Working diameter. This is the diameter of the circular surface we want to engrave. The type of work, OD. On our strategies tab, we need to change our total depth. This number is calculated based upon our working diameter. Offset tool radius, set to no. We want our tool to cut down the center of our feature. Links tab. The lead in and lead out distance must be set to zero. The tool will enter and exit with a simple plunge and lift. To create our ID engraving, we will simply copy our OD engraving toolpath and paste it on the ID features. Now I will open the parent operation and change the required settings. On the general tab, we need to change the operation name to ID wrap engraving and select the long engraving tool. Working diameter to match our inside diameter. And we need to change the type of work to ID. Let's go ahead and simulate. First, we need to go to our operations tab and select the operations which we'd like to simulate. We can see now the thin line being cut by our engraving tool. The width will depend on the depth and the angle of our tool. So our two-dimensional geometry has now been wrapped around the OD of our part. This concludes today's Esprit Tips and Tricks video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website, espritcam.com, to subscribe to our newsletter and for more cool videos. Stay tuned for the next Esprit Tips and Tricks.